Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 18 player review on my channel and in today's video guys I'm going to be reviewing 84 rated Inform Balotelli. Now this card was actually released about a week ago, um, I didn't actually have time to um, record this review and just recently I haven't really been that interested in FIFA, like, I think the game's starting to die. Um, so hopefully EA will release the World Cup game mode as soon as possible or like a brand new event just because I feel like um, at the moment like the game is just completely dead. Um, I know a lot of people who used to play the game a lot aren't playing it at all now just because um, it just isn't enjoyable to play. It's really boring and the gameplay is just shocking. Um, but anyway guys now getting into the review. The first pro I could find with this card was his finishing. Now this guy also has 89 finishing as his key stat. This guy is really good at finishing especially inside and towards the edge of the box. He seems to finish the majority of chances um, and well, as well just you know a really really clinical finisher. Then the next pro I could find with this card was his strength. Now this guy has I think it's 88 strength in game. Um, what's pretty pretty good. So he's a really strong player. And as well as that he's also very tall. He's around 6 foot 3 or 4. Um, so you know he's just one of those powerhouse players. Um, who can just out strength players. And he's also very good at finishing. And then the final pro I could find with this card was his heading. This guy's heading was really good. You know the accuracy was really good. And just as I've already said you know he is very tall. So he was also very good at winning those headers from goal kicks. And just flicking the ball on. So there also were a few cons with this card. The first con was his work rates. He does have low, low work rates. Um, and this also affects one of his other cons, what is his positioning. Because his work rates um, are low, low. It doesn't mean that he just seems to stay back quite a lot. Especially on counter attacks, you will realise that um, he isn't in the attacking half. You know, he's more in his own half. And uh, just running up the pitch. Just because, you know, his work rates aren't exactly the best. But if he can sort of get over his work rates, then this card is very, very good. Again, his pace, it isn't good, but it isn't bad. You know, it's just... Um, pretty decent and then as well his dribbling was also really really good um, clipped it really close to his feet and he was also pretty good for scaling as you can tell there do a nice ball roll to Ronaldo sharp past that player um, we do the nice pirate skill move this guy's just going in for the slide tackles trying to get the ball um, do a nice Giovinco spin there go for the fake shot um, just doing some really nice LT RG dribbling go for the ball roll take the finesse shot hits the post and then Muriel manages to finish it so guys, this has been the review. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.